recall we were studying uh, the causality channel that goes from uh, economic growth to uh, the probability of conflict, and then we were using rainfall variability as a as an instrument to assess that relationship. The reason why we can do this is because there is an impact uh, coming from rainfall to economic growth that we call the first stage. That later on we'll translate into the uh, uh, second stage, which is the impact that that slower economic growth has in terms of more violence. We can uh, just simply run the first stage like this, running economic growth on uh, rainfall growth, and that will give us an estimate for this impact, this coefficient, which is most likely going to be um, positive. And then, um, since we can't just run the second stage, remember what we said before, we had uh, endogeneity problems and omitted variable bias when running the regression of war on economic growth. We're going to have to derive this uh, impact, this coefficient from uh, other um, means. To do this, we run another regression which is called uh, the reduced form regression, which is basically run a regression that goes from drought to violence. And it's called reduced form because we assume that, uh, you know, this impact of crowd on violence is uh, working through economic growth, even though we don't express it explicitly. And this will give us a coefficient, uh, which we call beta zero, that is most likely going to be negative. Bad rainfall years, years of drought will lead to uh, more wars. Now, beta 2, which is basically the impact of economic growth on civil conflict, is uh, what we want to know. But what we actually know, uh, or at least we can estimate it with a small, really small bias, is beta 1 and beta 0, coming from the first stage and coming also from the reduced form using the fact that rainfall growth is an exogenous variable, our instrument. And thus we can construct a beta 2 that is not biased anymore just by uh, getting a function of beta 1 and beta 0 that is uh, basically beta 2. The impact of economic growth in civil conflict. How do we do this? Well, here is the IV trick. Uh, we plug the first stage regression into the second stage. Notice that um, the first stage has economic growth as a function of something, and then the second stage uh, has here economic growth, so we just plug it in there, and that is this massive regression here, and that is of war regressed on economic growth and basically now what we do is collect terms and get something that looks really similar to our reduced form basically just like isolate a constant and then isolate a coefficient that's uh, multiplying rainfall growth such as the case of the of the reduced form here and then um, something that is um, a coefficient for the um, the other the controls, the other variables, um, and then something that is basically the error term. Notice that this is something that we know. This is something that we have estimated before by running this reduced form regression. Uh, it's basically beta zero. And we can get a bit of this function of beta 2 and beta 1. But remember that we also know beta 1 because we can run this first stage relation here. Um, and we estimate a beta 1. The authors do this. And uh, thus we could basically just uh, solve for um, beta 2 
as a function of beta, beta 0 divided by beta 1. So just by simply using this trick, we have uh, a pretty good estimate that's uh, going to be fairly unbiased of uh, beta 2. The impact of um, economic growth in um, um, the probability of war or civil, civil conflict. This is just basically uh, the impact of rainfall patterns in um, uh, the probability of civil war scaled up or divided by the impact of um, rainfall patterns in economic growth. Lower rainfall decreases economic growth, then this is positive, and then also lower rainfall um, increases the uh, probability of war, so this estimate is going to be negative, thus P2 is actually also negative. When a country uh, suffers a negative uh, economic shock that decreases the uh, GDP growth rates, it is likely to have uh, it is more likely to have a civil conflict. And with this, we are done. Now, if you want to know what are the conditions that make this method work, uh, please watch the next video.